As far as attending the Jumu'ah, whether you understand the language in which the uh, speaker, the khatib, is given the sermon or not, you got to understand that the angels stand by the door of every masjid in order to write down the names of those who attend early. And once the imam climbs the member and says, Assalamu alaikum, they fold the records and they enter the masjid to attend the speech. Even if it is in any language other than yours, there must be a verse of the Quran, a hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu So you should make sure they attend the prayer from the beginning. Because if you do, it's a major sin. Even if you don't understand it. Because as I said, the khutbah consists mainly of an advice or an admonition to keep your duty to Allah, to fear Allah, uh, to love Allah and His Messenger, to quote an ayah and a hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu And basically these are the main components of the khutbah. What if you enter while the khatib or the imam is giving uh, the khutbah for a reason or another. The delay was for a reason or another. Should you offer the greeting of the masjid, the hayatul masjid, the turakaz, that will be answered inshallah after the short break, so stay tuned. Uh, Brother Muhammad from Nigeria said that he uh, comes late deliberately for Jumu'ah because the uh, khatib gives the khutbah in Arabic and he won't understand it. So he says if he attends, we explain to him that you should make sure to attend earlier uh, in order to get the reward of attending the Jumu'ah. Tell him learning. what the reward is and he'll never miss it. Uh, uh, yeah, of course. In addition to, it's not only about the reward. It's if you, if you miss it deliberately, it's a big sin. Yeah, so, but what about the reward? Nah. Well, if you attend earlier, because the Prophet ﷺ says, the one who attended in the first hour is like the one who offered a camel. In the second hour, like a, a cow, then a sheep, then a hen, and so on. Don't so forget the, the egg. <laughs> yeah, right before. Uh, That's me. The I'm in the egg category. <laughs> so what's really important is to make sure that you be there before the khatib attends uh, the khutbah or climbs the member. If now, he intentionally, Sheikh, look, if he intentionally doesn't go until he just catches the rakat to pray, uh, thinking he got the Jummah, what he got is maybe Salah, but he missed the Jummah. The whole point of the Jummah is what? To please Allah. And what's the bonus? Every sin from the previous week. Absolutely. That's the why hadith, I want you to tell him, tell him, tell him. In, in the seventh hadith, the Prophet said, As salawat al khams wal jumu'atu ila al jumu'ati kafaratu lima baynahunna majduni batil kaba'ar. Of course, so, uh, there is another narration in which it mentions the Umrah another Umrah and so on. The Prophet Sallallahu says in this hadith the part which concerns us uh, Friday to next Friday the person who attends Friday properly from beginning to end Friday sermon in Jumu'ah and attends the following one it will be an expiation for the sins which were committed in between. That refers to the minor sins not the major sins. The major sins will require a special tawbah. Now the, his question was, if you enter the masjid and the khatib um, is giving the khutbah. Mm -hmm. There is a hadith in uh, the sound collection of Imam al-Bukhari uh, in which he says that somebody entered the masjid once and the Prophet sallallahu was giving the Friday sermon. And so he was like, and he sat down. So he mm -hmm. asked him, did you pray? He said, no. He said, get up and pray. So he got up and prayed. And he said it in the khutbah to him. Correct. And this is a very straightforward proof that even if you enter late while the imam is giving the khutbah, you should offer the greeting of the masjid. Quickly, of course, should be two light rakas. Some people said, no, no, no. He meant to tell him to point out to the poverty of this guy because he was so poor. So he wanted to expose his poverty. People would donate to him, which was true. But guess what? Next Friday, the same guy came and he came late. And he had already many donations now. He was wearing a nice outfit and he had extra. And he sat down, the Prophet ﷺ addressed him once again. And this is collected by Imam Bukhari. He said, have you prayed yet? He said, no. He said, get up and pray. So this is an indication that the Hiyatul Masjid is an emphatic Sunnah. Even if you sit down, you get up and you pray. And that's why the, 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 the scholar said, even during the times in which it is disliked to pray, such as after Fajr until sunrise, 
and after us until sunset. When you enter the masjid, you should still offer the greeting. And also when the sun is straight up over us. Correct. Uh, 15, 20 minutes before uh, Allah.